ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ به من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له اله الاولين والاخرين قيوم السماوات السبع والارضين واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد ما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم يا معلم داود علمنا يا مفهم سليمان فهمنا يا رب العالمين اللهم يا معلم ابراهيم علمنا يا مفهم سليمان فهمنا يا رب العالمين سبحانك اللهم لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته All praises and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we thank him for all the blessings upon us and we bear witness testify <coughs> that there's no true god who deserves to be worshiped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone without any partner we testify that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a true slave of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the last messenger sent to my kind in time we pray and ask Allah to send his blessings Salutation and peace upon the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, upon his uh, family, and may Allah be pleased with the companions. May Allah be pleased with them and all the people who will follow the footsteps of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam until the day of Qiyamah. We pray, may Allah make us among them. Alhamdulillah. Uh, we for the few minutes we have. We will go again through the book of that card, small book of that card, Hisnul Muslim, Portraits of the Muslim, the Dua, that card that the author took from the Sunnah and the, the Quran. May Allah have mercy upon him. Uh, last time I still remember where we stopped is that when something becomes so hard on a human being, Du'a'u man istas'aba alayhi amru You are in, a, in a, a, a particular affair and it seems like it's so hard on you It's so difficult So Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam led something for you And that's, a, that's a, the nature of a human being You go certain way, when you go to certain things Sometimes it looks like it is easy to deal with But you get to a certain point it look like all the doors are closed. It's so hard. It look like you don't have the capacity of passing that test. Especially sometimes it's an exam, interview, or you are preparing something, or you are in a, in a, a affair you don't even know from where to start. It look like everything is dark in front of you. And we have to understand that the one who has the power of turning things around is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reason why he said, Allah lahu al khalqu wal amr. Belong to him the creation. And anything that's around, that is around that creation, it is Allah who has the remote. The same way he had the remote of changing the day and night. That's the same way also certain things that look like hard. He will make it easy for you. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to say, Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla wa anta taj'alu al-hazna idha shikta sahla. Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'altahu sahla wa anta taj'alu al-hazna idha shikta sahla. So here Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say, my Lord, la sahla, nothing is easy. Illa ma ja'altahu sahla. Except what you have made, or you have made easy. So if you find yourself in a position where things that everybody is struggling to have, usually I always take it like maybe 
now we take it in New York City, like for you to get the driver license, the test, sometimes it looks like it is hard. Sometimes for some people it looks like nothing. It's like coffee, they just go to Dr. Donut and get the coffee and drink and go. For some people. But for other people, it look like it's, it, they, when they go for the test, it look like they are asking them to go and what? Lift a whole mountain uh, of Uhud in Medina. Yeah, right? Some people, they, if they cannot sleep, the day before their test, they cannot sleep. It's like when we go for, you know, the high school diploma test back. The French people call it back. Right? Yes. Baccalaureate. Yes. <laughs> so usually, you see some people that don't even, they are not really scared like that. But you see other people, a month before, they cannot, they cannot eat. They cannot enjoy the, the food. So they are scared. It looks like so difficult. And of course, anything, anything you go to, nothing is, is, is easy, nothing is difficult. It depends. So the reason why there's no difficulty is case, uh, except what Allah made it difficult for you. And there's not, nothing is easy except what Allah has made easy for you. So if everybody is, other people are scared of taking the test and you, a blink of eye, you just pass. Stop. Don't take credit for it. For a Muslim, you don't take credit. You don't say that, you know, you know, we, we smart. Don't tell yourself, no, you know, you know, you smart. How many times you want this? No, I just want it. Only one time and then I passed. No, oh, you are really smart. So no, 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 it's the, from the mercy of God, from the blessings of God. Don't take credit. Because if you take credit, so it means in that position, Allah's hand is not there. Then. That's the meaning. And normally a Muslim, in everything you do, you need the hand of Allah's path for that. The reason why we, never, we will never stop saying Iyaka na'abudu wa Iyaka nasta'i We will never stop saying telling Allah Iyaka na'abudu wa Iyaka nasta'i For a normal Muslim who is praying only the Farida is 17 times he saved it a day You are the one who are worshipping and we don't we seek support and help only from you for everything and we always bring the way when we make the adhan. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, was asking us when the Muhammad is making the adhan, we repeat after him. But when we get to Hayyar al-Salah and Hayyar al-Fala, we say what? La hawla la quwwata illa billah. And we all know the meaning of la hawla la quwwata illa billah. There's no might, no power, no strength except from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why are we saying this? It's because they are calling you to come. Hayya ala salat. Come to the prayer. And if it is not with the help of Allah, you will never have the kuwa and the hawa so that you will make it to the masjid and pray on time. So you don't take credit. You give to Allah. Ya Allah, they call us for the prayer. I know I cannot make it. I cannot even, if I'm in the masjid, anything can happen and I cannot even stand up to pray. So I don't have any mind, I don't have power, I don't have strength, except from you. I need your help, so that I can make it. So a Muslim, if you find yourself, certain things are easy for you, and you realize that maybe 90% of people cannot make it, don't take credit. Especially students. You know, you find yourself sometimes chemistry, or science, or math, Okay, you find it is easy for you, but other people don't, cannot understand. Don't be shocked. It is Allah who made it easy for you. If they say, oh, you are really smart, they say, no, it's the, it's, it's the blessing from Allah. Atawawa. Always humble yourself. The moment you start taking credit, you will become Qarun. You will become like a Qarun who is working on the earth. And we all know how Qarun ended. May Allah protect us from that. Because he worked hard. Of course, he worked hard. Before you get money, sometimes you have to also struggle. You have to do a scar. But it doesn't mean that it's because you work hard that is not you have money. Because some people have, have worked harder than you and they never get anything. 
Look at our parents who work at the farm. But they never take me and you know hold millions. They never have millions on, on their hand. These are people who go to the farm maybe from morning to what? To evening. For like maybe six months. But they never have the, the amount of money you guys have today. So you're gonna say that because you work hard, that's the reason you have money? No, it's a blessing for Allah's part of God. We understand. So Muslim, your Tawheed is always in every circumstance your Aqeedah is connected. Your Tawheed and Aqeedah and the way your Iman. So it's simple dua. But if you want to explain it and go from Arububi and Uruhi as far as Sifat, we will never finish. La sahla illa ma ja'anta musa. You have to really mean it. Ya Allah, nothing is easy except what we have made easy. And anything that brings, you know, a lot of thoughts, a lot of sadness and depression, anything difficult, no one has the power to change it, to make it easy except you. So you're making dua, Ya Allah, I find myself in this kind of difficulties. No, nobody has the power of changing to, to, to easy except you. Make it for me. And you will see. Someone will say it, maybe it will never happen. But you, because of your belief, the way you say it, you will see the result right away. A lot of people, good people, has make the experience and they see. And they wrote books and tell us. And when we take the, the situation, when a trial happened to a, a human being, you lost maybe something. Or you lost your beloved one, the husband who lost his wife, or a wife who lost his her husband. Rasulullah said, anything that happened to you, don't scream, oh, 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 I'm done. This is the one who's taking care of me. What, where am I going? So the beginning and the moment you just start saying, that, like, what are we going to do today? That's it. It means your, your iman, you don't have iman anymore. Because some people have that, that bad weight. The day they, they heard about the, the, the death of one person, who Allah make maybe intermediate? The suburb of them eating and clothing. When they heard it, you see them taking off their clothing. Do you, you, oh, we are done. This, this. They said, if now someone will come tell them, be patient. So, no, 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 this, this is our, this is the one taking care of us. This is the one, this, this. You see them crying. Three days after you come, everything's fine. What happened? Continue. They will say they are patient. No, 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 no. It's not this kind of patience I want. The moment, the moment you are hit by trial, that's the moment you have to remember that it comes from Allah. So you say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayya rajim. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us this to us. I think we did that one, right? Really? Okay. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayya rajim. He make that he say in the land we are in the Quran. What he say? This one is a part of Ayah the Quran. And the day that Allah brought from Musa, but from Paru, in the land we are in the Quran. We will take in the land we are in the Quran only when someone is there, right? Yes. Even back home, when you just hear the Muaddin take the microphone, in the land we are in the Quran. In the land they say it three times the microphone. Then you will see everybody just stop eating. Yes. That's how we grow up. Because you know, the masajid, when they're talking in the microphone, you can hear it from your house. So we take it it's only when a person passes away. No. My brother, even if you you lost $2, $1, it is a musibah for you. It's a trial. He said, In the Lahu, in the Ilahi Rajiun, Allah Majuni fi musibati, wa akhlufli khayran minha. So our mother, uh, Abu Salma, uh, Umm Salma, radiallahu anha, that's the, the mother of the believers. She said the moment they learn from this dua, it happened that she lost her husband. And between her and her husband, Abu Salma, 
like the way they understand each other. She, for her, no one on the earth is better than her husband. You know that, right? Sometimes some people, when they have a, a kind of book or they have a kind of a, maybe a motor motorbike, I used to have a bicycle. Beside that bicycle, I don't see anything that is better than that bicycle. I would never see any bicycle that I know. My bicycle. And I don't give to anyone. <laughs> so hard. Eh? Yes. No, I don't. For me, when I give to them, they will destroy it. They don't know how to take care of it. So I can give them money to go where they want to go, but I'm not going to give them the, the bicycle. <laughs> you know, it's youth stuff. Because the way you love it is different. So it happened that that our mother saying that between her and her husband Abu Salma she doesn't even think that in the on the earth there is a husband who is better than her her husband. But it happened that the husband passed away during a battlefield. So and that she was really sad. Thinking about it, that she remember that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, anyone who lost something or someone, Allah test them with something, and then they say this du'a, Allah will think them with something better than what they have lost. And she was like, but nobody is better than my my husband on this earth. Who is better than my husband? But she believed that what Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saying, it is true. So she was like, maybe in, Jam in Jamna something, Allah will give me something better. But in the rest, I don't see anyone who is better than Abu Salam. And she started making that dua. Anytime she remember, she started making that dua. Inna billahi wa inna ilayhi wa ta'un. Allahumma jurni fi musibati wa akhluf li khayra minna. Ya Allah, give me the word of this trial you have. You have made me pass through. Because the Muslim, if you go through, through a a difficulty, it is a test from Allah. If you remain sober, Allah will reward you for that. The reason why I do the dua, say, Allahumma adjur nefi musibati. Ya Allah, reward me, recompense me through this difficulty I'm going to. And wa khluf li khayran minha. Ya Allah, change it with something better than, than that, what I have lost. So at the end, it is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam himself who come and ask her help. So at the end, so it's when she finished, like she became the, uh, the mother of the believer, the wife of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that she remembered that Allah accepted the dua. Because Abu Salma is not better than Rasulullah. SubhanAllah. Abu Salma, you cannot even compare Abu Salma and even the view of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So she said that, ah, so the Rasul. So Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi is saying the truth. And he is the one, if you have to believe, is to believe Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So all this dua we be learning. I can say it maybe is not gonna accept the Allah is not gonna accept because of my the way I believe. But you, the way you believe in it more than me, maybe you say it once and that's it. But let us kill each other. Some people are telling you, go do this million of time and you have that big long to spot you don't even sleep your your eyes you come away you start hey, this this the entire night you do a million of time with Allah is not the quantity with Allah we have to understand it's not the quantity if it is truth quantity uh, the uh, the battle the battle of our battle Muslim will have gone Order, order, since if it is because of quantity, you will never see, you know, the, that time Muslim uh, succeed over the what the disbelievers, they were few, but because they have that heart connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah gave them victory. And when you the day of Hunayn, they see themselves, they were not. More than like 12, you know, 12,000 people. They just opened Fatah Makkah, it's a lot of people who converted. They, they were going for that battle. And they see themselves, oh, today, no, we will never, we will never, you know, lose. Because you, you look at our number, 
So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, oh, so today is because of your number you will succeed. So Allah take his help. I, he led them by themselves. May Allah protect us from he, he yet, subhanahu wa ta'ala, leaving us by our own. That's the reason why one of our, the, the dua of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Allahumma rahmatata awju falatakilni ila nafsi tafata ayin. Do not leave me by my own, even if for a of eye. Because the moment Allah leave you with your affairs, that say you are down. May Allah protect us from that. So here, Allahumma la sahla illa ma ja'antahu sahlan, wa anta taj'alu al-hazna idha shi'ita sahlan. You make dua when you find yourself in a difficult moment, you're going through certain particular uh, things that is so particular, and by you feel like it's so hard. There's no key. It's like the doors are closed. Make dua. Allah will bring you relief. You don't need to make it a lot of time. This time, just yes, anything you remember, just say it. I'm not going to tell you, just go and say it a hundred times. They will ask us, what's the proof? Because the moment you give people the numbers, you have to give, uh, bring us the proof coming from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If today someone asks you why you say it every three times, subhanallah, when you finish praying, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said it. What is it? It's in the hadith. What and take hadith. You bring the hadith. Simple. But you're not going to tell me that if every night I have to do I to say hundred times. You just give me that number. Why I have to say hundred times? So because it's this, this. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, that. What about if me, I can make it like a thousand? So you put me in trouble. Imagine I can make a thousand. You already told me that it's a hundred times. Oh, I have stuff to do, but you let me say that a hundred times. So I stay in there and then I miss a lot of things. I'm, I'm supposed to go and do. So we, when we come to the deen, we follow the word of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us. Certain things that are open, don't try to put the limit. Don't try to put what? The limit. So may Allah make us understand, inshallah. Uh, inshallah, next week we will continue with uh, the next dua. Inshallah. Ma yaqulu wa yaf'alu man azna badamban. How a sinner, when a person commits sin, what you should, the person should, should do to repent. May Allah forgive all of us. And may Allah protect us from committing sin. Subhanahu wa bihamdika, inshallah, wa ilahi wa ant. Sakhir kuntu wa ilahi wa sallam wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.